What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another week here on Body Bags, the Tuesday reviewer, the retro slasher, and I'm reviewing a brand new film this week. Well, technically not brand new. It is a film from the year 2014. It's a slasher film released by Anchor Bay, uh, one of those typical 996 Walmart releases that I did pick up back in 2014 when it was released. Uh, now, I originally watched that film, this film back then. Uh, now, since my original viewing of this film, I've read and heard and listened to a bunch of different uh, opinions on it and reviews and whatnot. Uh, it's one of these mixed bag type films. A lot of people have a different uh, opinions on it. Uh, see, some people seem to like it. Uh, mostly a lot of people seem to dislike it. Now, I qualify as one of those people that actually kind of like the film uh, on my first viewing of it. Um, it's been two years since I watched it. Um, and it goes by the title of... Death do us part. Uh, yeah, with the subtitle or subline, you may now kill the bride. That's kind of cool. Pretty cheesy, but kind of funny, I guess. Um, so, as we always do first, dudes, so let's get into the synopsis. Uh, with Kennedy Jam Jameson and Ryan Harris wedding quickly approaching, they are swept away by Chet, their best men, to a remote cabin for an unforgettable combined bachelor slash bachelorette weekend with their friends that will that they will never forget but the get together takes a horrifying turn when dark secrets and forbidden desires are revealed and mysterious a mysterious killer starts brutally picking them off one by one what started out as a celebration quickly descends into a bloody nightmare with friendships ripped apart accusations flying in in this blood soaked blood filled psychological horror I should have just left soaked in it because it sounds better than build uh yeah so that's the plot of this uh pretty standard running the mill type slash film bunch of young adults or whatever head on to uh a cabin in the woods for the weekend uh and somebody starts picking them off one by one with little wedding twists thrown in there kind of unique not too many wedding slashes at least that i've seen um uh so uh, like i said i did originally watch this film in 2014 uh, when it was released i decided to give it another watch to see if it still held up if I still liked it as much. Uh, uh, so let's start off with the positive things. Uh, positives. First thing is the simplicity to it. It's a pretty simple, easy film to follow, uh, which I kind of do like. It's pretty generic, which is okay because I don't mind generic. Uh, when when slasher films or whatever type of film that you like, they start to th throw different twists and they're trying to change the game up. Uh, it can either come off really gimmicky or okay uh this is standard so it doesn't really qualify as that so it's good uh good story i really think the plot of it um now a, lo a lot of people's complaint with this film ha happens to be the unlikability of the characters uh now there's a few different characters in this film that i can see some people not liking personally i don't really mind any of the characters out there pretty much all cool in my book uh i kind of really dig the the relationship between the 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 fiance and uh and fiance fiance and whatever the groom <laughs> whatever you call the male or female uh, maybe they're both coffee i don't know i'm not married i never got married i don't know anything about that but anyways i i like their relationship it's kind of unique um there's a lot of backstory to it uh, a lot of different things involving their relationship which i will not spoil of course but uh a uh, unique di dynamic between the, the two characters and some of the other characters involved in the film. Now, um, yeah, so I don't mind the characters. I don't really see what the big fuss is about. Um, now, as to the kills and whatnot, of course, it's a slasher film. Does it have good kills or not? Uh, the kills are pretty standard and okay. They're not anything mind-blowing or groundbreaking or amazing. Uh, they're pretty standard uh, axe kills and knife kills and what such. Um, but they're pretty decent. It has pretty decent effects. A uh, good amount of blood and pretty decent body count. I, uh, uh, that's another positive I would say. Now, uh, and it's shot beautifully too. It's really well made. I don't really think it's poorly executed. Uh, structured well and everything. I think that aspect of it. I'm just kind of rambling on about different things now. Let's get into some negative things about this film. Um, first thing about the negative thing I'm about to say is um. It's kind of the predictability of it. Now, uh, I, like I said, I like standard and generic type stuff, but this movie's really predictable, and you can kind of figure out who the killer is right away. It's a traditional whodunit type film, and uh, it's pretty predictable. It's not that hard to figure out. Um, so, yeah, 
not really a good thing about it. Kind of wish they would have spiced up the twist a little bit. That uh, made it not so easy to figure out. Uh, yeah. So I don't really know. Um, I also I uh, kind of really dig the ending. I, like I said, it's, the movie's predictable, but the, the ending's pretty cool. I like how they decided to end the film. I think it was pretty well done. Um, yeah. So my overall thoughts on this, I still really kind of do enjoy this film. I know a lot of people don't uh, that's okay that's their opinion uh, but this is a fun film pretty standard slash film not the greatest thing not the worst thing i've ever seen uh, so if i'm gonna rate this thing i'm gonna give it a six and a half out of ten not too bad i i do somewhat recommend it uh, if you're just a hardcore slasher fan if you're not really into slashes this probably isn't for you but i don't know check it out if you want it's okay in my book that is death do us apart uh, yeah, so my review, guys. I'll see you guys next week with a brand new review. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys later. Peace.